In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get no delay on your mouse and keyboard in Free Fire. This is going to help you out so much, especially with editing free building and basically everything which involves having super good mouse precision. So hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive. Go into Windows Type In Device until you find the Device Manager. Just simply open it up again. Guys, and all you have to do is go into Human Interface Devices. Just simply open it up here, and now you're going to see your mouse and keyboard. And as you can see from me, Ant Esports Gaming and my keyboard is the Zebronix Series Epix Pro. And what I want you to do is just simply right click on everything which is somehow related to your mouse and keyboard. Go into Properties, go into Power Management, and make sure that this is unchecked. Allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. Make sure this is unchecked, literally, for every single one of these. Here, just simply always go here into Power Management. Make sure it's turned off Properties again. Power Management that's already turned off. And here as well, and this is just going to make sure that they're like literally running at 100%. Is the easiest way to explain, guys. And it's just G to make sure that you have no input, delay, you have no extra latency, which is unnecessarily and unwanted, especially in competitive gaming. And yeah, once you're done with that, just simply close this window. Now go to my website. I give link in the description and download the zero delay and FPS boost pack from here. And follow me in part control. I'm just gonna give you like a quick explanation. Optimus is your CPU to always run at the highest possible speed for gaming. And all you guys have to do is go into this drop down menu and always select the bits and highest performance mode. And it's going to apply everything automatically. You just have to put apply here and then here down below. You can see the bits and highest performance profile, which is installed and then you just G2. Simply put the sum dynamic boost enabled and after applied everything correctly. Guys, you can see that your process sensor, which is by the displayed here on the left bottom side, is always gone to run at 100% while gaming. Trust me, guys. Uh, this is optimized. It's not like just 100% CPU usage. Thing. Yeah, your CPU is just work way better with this program. Guys, somebody make sure to press, okay, here and after if you applied everything correctly. And with that, we're pretty much done here with this step as well. Just make sure to copy all of my settings. I'll apply for every PC guide. So pretty much all you have to do under this first option, connection speed, you can see that you have to drag it all the way to the right side. So we utilize the maximum speed of our internet connection. Just drag it really here all the way to the right side. It should be maybe here on stop. I think it was on five mega. Just drag it all the way to right side. Even though your internet connection might not be as fast. You just want to make sure you utilize 100% of your the next step on the network adapter section. Guy, just simply select exactly your um, network adapter for me because I'm connected over land. It's here. The Realtek family control adapter. Just simply click on it and yeah, you should be good to go if you're using a wireless connection, guys. Then should probably show something else. But for me, because I'm using it, just shows my normal adapter here built in my PC. And then next up, you can see here that the first box is unchecked, but the second one should be checked. And if you're right now kind of started this program, this should all be probably grayed out and you should have no options here, or you can like change anything. And what I want you to do here in the first click on optimal and then on custom, this is super important guys in the first place, please click on optimal and then on custom because it's already gone. Like some changes here. And yeah, then I'm just going to tell you now what you need to change. Just make sure, please, to copy everything one by one, TCP window, auto T tuning. Just keep it on. Then disabled, and then for the congestion control provider. Please select CTTP, guys. This is super important. It should be on cubic, I think, on default. But we need CTCPM so that we utilize 100% of our network speed. E. And then on the next one's guy, just keep it on enabled and enabled. This is also super important. And then as we move over to the right side, you can see that I got my MTU on 1,500. You can just keep it here on default, guys. And then this next one here, we just G to leave out. And then on EC and capability, just keep it on disable, then enable, disable, disable, and disable, guys. You can just simply copy it as mention everything one by one here. And we've pretty much done with this first page here. 
and then we just got Mo over here to the advanced settings tab. And yeah, as you can see, guys here, I've got all set, everything already optimized to the maximum. And then first of all, for the internet, Explorer optimization. Make sure to put this on 10 and on 10. It should probably on something else. I think in the first place, 500 or stuff like that, just simply put it both here on 10. And then we're just going to move over to the host resolution priority. And guys, please copy everything one by one. Your local priority to four, your host priority to five, DNS priority to six, and your net ET priority. I'm on seven, and if you copied everything step by step, you should work 100%, guys. And then we just got to move over here to the R transmissions, and then be simply keep it here on two. And the second option, undisabled, guys. Let me just come move over here. Again, to retransmission time, mode RTO, and we're just going to put in here 2000 as your initial RTO, and as a minimum RTO, we're going to put it on 300. And we should have applied everything correctly on this left side so far. Then we're just going to move over here to the right quality of service. The first one we're just going to leave out. And then here you're in lay. We're going to put on optimum one. Guys. Um, it should be on default thing. Normally we're going to put it on optimal one. And then next up here on the gaming tweet, network throttling index. This is super important, guys, especially for ping. Your network frauding index should be undisabled here in the first one. And then next up here on the system responsiveness. We want it, of course on gaming zero guys so thus please make sure to copy this one here super important especially for free fight guys and then next up here gaming to we're just going to put the first option disabled one then enabled one and then disabled zero again just copy everything as mentioned and the next up here on the network memory allocation we're just going to put the l system cache on default zero and the size on default one and once you finished here guys and copied everything step by step just simply press apply changes and this new window here should pop up and we can see all the changes we just did just simply go on okay and yeah just overwrite everything and it should ask you afterwards if you want to restart your pc which i would recommend you but obviously i can show you as well well some more and then later on you can start your pc we just going to click here on and you already applied everything you can just simply close this program and everything is already saved on your pc and you guys for this part of today's video I want to show you a program which is called timer set resolution if you take actually a look here it says current resolution um 1000 or one with like three zeros and there's a 1000 millisecond which means one millisecond and if you press on maximum you can see that you can pretty much reduce your whole entire delay on windows 10 on my health which is only like 0 0.5 milliseconds now the whole entire delay and this works for any device it doesn't matter if you're on controlling mouse and keyboard whatsoever. This works for everything. And this program is just simply really cool. With that said, we're done here as well. And as a next step go, is simply sear and type in network until you find new network connections. Just simply open it up and they can see your internet connection form. Obviously, I'm connected via LAN. Just simply right. Click on it and go into property. So guys, and as you can see, this new window here is gone to pop up. And then we're G to look for internet protocol and just simply double click onto it. And they can see now your general optimization steps here. And what you guys need to do here is under the second part, you can see use the following DNS server address. And what I want you to do here is simply see everything I've got here. Your preferred DNS server should be 1.1.1.1. And your alternative DNS server should be 1.0.0.1 for four. And trust me, guys, these are like overall the best service you can choose. You know them. This is going to work for the majority of people. If it doesn't work for you, then just simply, of course, Again, go to automatically. But as mentioned, this is life, something that works for majority of people. So please make sure to try this out yourself. And for me, it helped personally a lot. Like I'm right now in creative on zero ping straight, up, which is just truly insane, guys. And yeah, but that's, have we already done here as well? We got just G to close everything now. Guys have to do is simply go into search bar and type in app until you find, find apps and features. Just simply open it up and First of all, you could probably hear an apps and features treasure like skin through your PC. Just maybe you're going to see like some applications, you know, which you don't need on your, which are like unnecessary. But what I actually want you to do here and afterwards as well, here by apps for websites, make sure to disable everything. Here. Like all these Microsoft services, you don't need this. You're never going to use. And what I would also recommend is going to start up and simply make sure to disable all the program, which you don't need necessarily straight up while launching your PC. As you can see, I've got a whole lot of stuff here. I don't know everything from like Microsoft Edge, Discord for my, I do disable everything here. 
from the launch. So my PC can just like start up super and everything is working super fast straight from the beginning because it can be really frustrating if your PC is loading five minutes before you can use it actually. And with that pretty much done here with the step as well, we just need to minimize here. Everything and everything is already applied. Okay, and restart your machine. That's for this video. Hopefully your problem got fixed and yeah, make sure to give it a like. It won't even take you three seconds to do it. And yeah, with all due respect, love your parents and take care of yourself. See you in another video. Bye for now. Oh yeah, here are some videos. Might be useful for you so you can check them out. Thanks.